I was actually using that as more of a sound check to be fair, a little bit distant, but I mean, it'll do, I think it'll do, <laughs> he says that's what we're getting anyway, um, let's show him on that. Interesting. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, that should be good, that should be good. I think we're good, he says. We're good? Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Well, let's launch the game. Bargain. Yeah, let's do this. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. DMTC1 going live, what can only be described as a Wednesday. It is a Wednesday. But I'm going to start as I'm going to carry on. I'm going to wish you guys cheers and good health. Sound check on the new microphone, by the way. So we're just playing that through. We're just seeing how that works out. If it works out, it's fine. It's good. I might sound a little bit distant. It's kind of up here somewhere where it's supposed to be. Um, but... Meh. Cheers. Hmm. So I'm not actually quite sure where this game come from, to be fair. At all. Uh, it was kind of an email arrived. Um, 1971, Indian Naval Front. That was yesterday, the day before, I think. Then the, the demo was uh, delayed by a day. So the demo was only just landed. I've had about 30 seconds on it and realised the fact that the x and y axes for me are completely wrong here um so actually i might be able to kind of change those roll ship uh ah so that's pitch bird or ship or some mouse is y so can i change the y axis that would be what i want to change over Gameplay, import. Gameplay, invert the Y axis. Did I say Y axis? Uh, up, down, yeah, so Y axis, import. Gameplay, Y axis, invert the Y axis. Yes, please, apply. Now last time I did this, it didn't work, so we'll see if that goes through or it doesn't go through. Either way is fine. How long this demo is, I generally have no idea. Could be a five minute one, could be a 10 minute one, could be a three hour one. No, literally no idea. So we're gonna go and have a look for the first time. Um, task Force, date 25th November 1971, 11.30. The Bay of Bengal, nice. Uh, moving closer to the coast, create a naval blockade as instructed by the Eastern Naval Command. It's a briefing. Good morning, gentlemen. You must know that there is an increase in political tension between East and West Pakistan, which has ultimately created a warlike situation. 
Your objective is to create a naval blockade near the South Bay of Bengal in order to keep an eye on enemy ship movements and incapacitate them. You are also advised to watch your movements and inspect the region, considering enemy up. Yeah, considering any ships patrolling your position too, we have to safeguard Indian borders, also our sovereignty. Bargain. Good afternoon, everyone from Richard Leanne. Afternoon, Richard Leanne. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. This is a new demo just arrived. Of course, if it's naval, I've got to, I've got to give it a bit of a, a bit of a look. See, right, so, so, but I don't know how long the demo is. Units. Oh, we got an aircraft carrier. I'm interested. Huh? I'm interested. Leopard class frigates times is that times two, and Hawker sea jets. Oh yeah. It's ten thirty hours. The Bay of Bengal. We won't skip anything. This was fairly quiet as well, so I'm going to be quiet here. So that needs that needs a voice raising up ever so slightly. W, A, S, and D for movement. Mouse is to look around his left and right. Compass points towards the direction where the camera is looking. Bargain. Toggle the radar by pressing R key. North is always upwards. Perfect. Uh, enemy friendly. Neutral within five kilometers. Place position is always the center of the radar. It's important to correlate the direction of the compass with the radar. <laughs> We've got a quick reading of the vehicle's position. Bargain. Uh, weapons panel, uh, you know, continues with weapons installed on particular ships. For ships, weapons have four broad categories. One is guns, buffers, cannons, missiles, and torpedoes. Uh, key activates respectively. By default, 20mm anti air gun is selected. Perfect. For weapons, icon displays a counter, which means it comes with limited ammo count. Sweet. The blueprint also is your health bar of the ship. The green colour fill keeps reducing as you take hits. The red dots indicate the position of active, activated weapons. Yellow dots indicate selected weapons from where you can fire. To select an activated weapon, the player needs to point the cursor towards the position of the weapon from the main view. Scroll up into the wheel and the weapon views. Speeds indicator is not standing here. Perfect. That's it. Easy enough. How you doing, KJ? Good to see you, you sexy beast. How are you, sir? Hope you're well. Move towards the signed area. Attention. Ah, there we go. Conducting turret drill operation. Vessel condition inspection as per standard operating procedure. Over. I captain. Engine room status. Charge speed at 40 RPM. Slow, but we'll, you know, she'll do 25 knots. Real complete. Let's get that. There's our two ships. Look at this, though, man. Nice. Uh, does the. Uh, do you make more smoke depending on the speed of the boat? That's, that's going to be worth a look, see? It starts to go up rather than trail, though. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's the little details. It's the little details I like. Hmm. There you go. It's just starting to go back. Lovely jubbly. Not the fastest girl in the world, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Looks good graphically. How you doing, Jim? Good to see you, sir. Hope you are. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know how long the demo is going to be. I literally have no idea. It's 
yeah. Could be a 10 minute demo, could be a 20 minute demo, could be, you know, a full two hour stream. I generally don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, it looks, looks nice. We're doing the basic movement so far, so we'll see how that goes. I've done this, so I do know what's next, but I, I, what was next I ran out of time for. for so, and it was backwards for me, and that was, it was brutal. Absolute killer. But I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. I maybe spoil it a little bit, but <laughs> we'll give it a word. Move towards assigned coordinates. I love the fact that it says. Hold back. Slow down the business. Confirm visual stop. Explosion site. Affirmative. Move from behind the terrain in northwest. Forward. Roger. Stand by. Over and out. Northwest. That's the northwest. This is Inc. 5314, go ahead, Capitano. So it sounds like the volume needs to go up a little bit on comms. We need to go and have a, a cheeky, cheeky inspection of what's going on over there then. Hmm. We shall see. Oh yeah, Popper got himself an aircraft. Checkpoint saved. I like it. Press space key to start the engine. Within a few seconds, the aircraft will be pushed by catapult assisted takeoff system. Use W and S key to control the speed of the aircraft and A and D to your left and right. To roll the aircraft and pitch up and pitch down, right for free look. Toggle the landing gear is G. I mean, that's relatively simple. I don't see that as being overly complicated. Scroll up for cockpit view and scroll up twice for zoomed view. Light indicators, aiming crosshairs, altitude indicator, digital screen, radar. Right, okay. Uh, firing. Player controlled jets have two kinds of or two kinds of weapons. After it fires a primary weapon, uh, the jet jets are installed with 20 minutes of guns. One of those secondary weapons are installed as per the mission requirements. Uh, RP3 unguided rockets, bombs, or torpedoes. First look. Hey, then, Pete, good to see you. To fire secondary weapons, press the left shift and that's perfect. Air speed indicator, altitude indicator, landing gear up or down. Uh, altitude restricted, flying above 10,000 feet would result in aircraft damage. Perfect. Ready to rumble. Let's do this. <laughs> There we go, boy! Yeah, so this is backwards to me. G, G was gear up. So up on this and down. See, to me, uh, if you push down, if you pull back, um, see there, where I pull, where, where I would consider pulling back, that, that dives. So this is absolutely backwards for me. So it's going to be a bit of a struggle for me to fly this thing massively. Oh, there's the zoomy zoom mode. So that's in mode, zoom mode. Okay. Um, so flying is going to be very difficult so I might just take my time I might just chill out here so you know if you're watching this on the tubes and you think god this dude sucked it's because everything I'm doing is kind of backwards and that, that that's going to be a bit difficult uh, let's slow this thing down if I can yeah I can look phone call Let's 
clearly shooting rap or shooting rapid at us. G, good to see you, brother. No, come out. I am bailing out of that. Story about the demo, shall I say? Oh uh, yeah, this is this is uh, this is just a demo doing at the moment. I'm not particularly great at it, as you can see. I'm just gonna wheel, wheel myself out a little bit more now. Let's slow this thing down as we pull this thing back around. Now. Oh, hello. Two rockets left, and this thing's kind of running at a slight angle, which is a bit sucky for me. That looks pretty clean there, though. Take it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's a cheeky crewmate coming on Saturday. Is there? Oh, okay. The voice acting is um, a lack of emotion. Yeah, I think it's just quiet. I think it's just quiet. Good job, Captain. We've cleared the minor threat in the region. The Pakistani Navy had deployed silent patrol boats. No comms in the region for creating a diversion by targeting Indian merchant vessels. This attack was definitely not their main plan as we wait for intel on the naval intelligence on the enemy's course of action to follow. We will create a strong naval blockade in the Bay of Bengal for intercepting enemy infiltration. Let's nip that in the bud. Great job neutralizing the silent enemy patrol boats, which just put, I, I know, I know, look at that, check me out, check me out. Thanks for playing the demo. All footage presented here. Perfect. There you go. Fastest, most enlightening demo I've seen yet. Yeah. I like it. I like it. it. Gives you a nice overview, though. I will let this play out, and then uh, I will just load up some new parts. I think we'll do some cheeky new parts. That's it. That's it, Pete. That's it. That's your tip. That's that's your tip bit, Pete. That's your that's your cheeky little tease. It's nice. Don't be greedy, Pete. Don't be greedy, Pete. It's been greedy. What can I say? I was a slayer, Pete, in the uh, in the helicopter methodology. It is that's the demo. It is a demo. Okay. Well, you got to do a cheeky bit of Morse code as well, though. Nice. I like it. Foggy. No, there's not more. That's uh, that is it. oh, look at that. That was a slick shot. That damn, that boy. Been... He was on point with that, wasn't he? Holy moly! There you go. Very nice indeed. Okay. Oh, look at that, you actually get a watchtower hit points as well. That's nice. I like that. Torps, so that's the boat as well. Very nice indeed. Oh, bit of a cheeky moment there, bit of a cheeky moment there. That's nice. Uh, anti-air, is that anti-air? Yeah, it's anti-air, isn't it? Uh, well, that, looks like, that looks like a main gun of some type. There you go. A little reminder for more fun, to be honest, yeah. There you go, 1971, Indie Warfront. There you go, boys and girls. Right, I will just close that down there so I can restart my stream and play a new boat. So that there is the demo, guys, of 1971 Indian Naval Front. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you're watching the live stream, I'm literally about to close and then reopen back on new boat. So I will see you in a moment. Thanks for watching. Green tech. Thirty seconds, guys, and I'll just relaunch. Okay.